Rode have the reputation for making some very good microphones. So when I got the chance of having a play with this Rode SmartLav, I thought I would make a short video about it. Now at the moment it is tucked in just underneath my jacket and what makes this microphone that little bit different from most other lavaliers is that it is designed to feed into a smartphone or tablet type device and use that as your recorder. Now I did try plugging it into my camera and also to my Zoom H1 but it did not work with either of those but then it didn't say it would. So at the moment it is recording onto my Nokia 520, the base model Windows phone. It's quite a small little microphone, somewhat thicker than a toothpick but a lot thinner than a pencil. And at the moment I'm outside here on Glasgow Green. It's dusk, the light is rapidly fading so I'm not too sure quite how this video will come out but it's the audio I'm more interested in. It's also just finished blowing a gale here. I wasn't going to come out because trying to do an audio test in strong winds is a bit ridiculous really on microphones that are not designed for that sort of thing. But the wind has calmed down a bit now though flags are still out at an angle and off to my side that way I can see the steam coming out of a chimney from a factory and that is almost horizontal so there's still a fair bit of wind around here so I will be curious to see how well this tucked away underneath my coat picks up my sound and also does or does not pick up wind noise. Once I get inside in a few minutes warm up my poor wee fingers then I will try plugging it into a couple of other smartphones see how they compare to this Windows one and well see if we can draw any conclusions as to whether this as I think it's something around £35 whether it's actually worth it or not. Right, back inside. Fingers have warmed up a bit. And to start with, we're just working off my Rode desktop machine. Desktop machine? Desktop microphone. Just so we have got something to compare the other recording devices with as I get my lavalier here, attach it to my wee jacket there and to start with I'm going to plug it into my Nokia Windows phone so we can now do a compare and contrast with this inside as to outside. Right let's press the record button. A rather feeble clap there for synchronization but this sound will now be coming off my Windows phone. One thing I have found playing with all these phones earlier on this afternoon was that getting the audio files off them was a bit of a pain in that video files are stored in one very specific directory. Photos all end up in their photo directories but the audio files seem to be tucked away different places depending on which memo audio recording thing you're using and trying to find them is a bit of a pain in the backside and the easiest way turned out to be was to go to the audio program select the file and then send it off to either Dropbox or email it to yourself as an attachment go to your PC and download it that way that turned out much easier than plugging in the phone through USB into your machine, then calling up the relevant file browsing program, iTunes or whatever, and trying to find the audio file. Anyway, enough for a short test of inside with the Windows recorder. So let's hit the stop button for that. Okay, 
Next, let's plug in the Samson and power this. Come on, come on, come on. That's better. So at the moment it's it's just doing the sound off that again. Plug you in and let's give that and let's go start recording. A clap again for synchronization. So now we're going into my Samson Note 2 and we'll have to see how this audio in turn compares with the Nokia. I'll be quite interested. Are there going to be differences or not? I have played briefly with these earlier on today, but I've not yet done a proper compare and contrast. So playing back these video files will be the first time I will have had a chance to do this properly. So you will be hearing this in a way the very first time that I will be hearing this too. So I can't predict yet what it is going to be like. Okay, well here's just, what, a minute perhaps of recording on to my Samson Note 2 through the Rode SmartLav lavalier microphone. Okay, enough of the Samson. So, now let's get my old iPhone 3GS. Quite an old device, but none the worse for that. I think especially for audio recording, which is not exactly high tech or anything. OK, let's press record here. So now I am recording to my 3GS through this lavalier microphone, the Rode Smart Lav. Well, there was an old person of Woking whose mind was perverse and provoking. He sat on a rail with his head in a pail. That elusive old person of Woking. There, a bit of rubbish just to fill out a few moments of recording some indoor sound onto my old iPhone 3GS. OK enough of that too. So we'll just now have to have a little listen to see. As I said, I have not done this before, so this will be the first time for me to be able to run through and do a compare and contrast. So let's hit the stop button on this. Unplug you, so now we're just finishing off on the road. Video Mic Pro momentarily lapsed there, forgetting which microphone this one was. Well, there we go. Make up your own minds. Enough. Goodbye.